Today we're going to look at some macOS features Apple never talks about. You know the different resolutions you can choose from under the display settings? There's actually a lot more to choose from, but most of the options are hidden by default. Hold down the Option key and click one of the options, and you'll get a full list of all the resolutions available. The list view in Finder doesn't always show all the file sizes, which can be pretty darn annoying, but there's actually a way to force Finder to give you all the file sizes. Hit Command plus J, check the box that says Calculate All Sizes, and Finder will give you a file size for every file and folder. It might take a while for those file sizes to show up, and the annoying part is that once you navigate to a different folder, you might have to do this again. Your Mac is full of hidden files that are invisible to the user, and usually you don't need to see them, but in some cases it might be helpful to access them. Hold down Shift, Command, and hit the period key on your keyboard, and all the hidden files will be revealed. To hide them again, hit the same keyboard combination again. If you're trying to move these icons in your Mac's menu bar, you'll quickly realize that they cannot be moved by simply clicking and dragging. To move them, you'll need a little help from your keyboard. Hold down the Command key, and you'll be able to drag and move the icons to your preferred part of your menu bar. If you want to remove icons completely, there's a few ways to do it. Most apps will have an option in their settings that let you choose whether you want an icon to be displayed in your menu bar or not, but if you want to remove icons quick and easy without digging through settings, you can simply hold down the command key and drag these icons far enough that you'll see this little X icon show up. Release and let go, and the icon will be removed from your menu bar. One feature that never gets enough credit is the built-in image conversion right inside Finder. Say I have one of these HEIC files that aren't widely supported. Right-click, Quick Actions, and Convert Image. Choose between a couple of common formats and boom, you're done. I see way too many people scrambling with this, opening their photos in some complicated app just to convert to a different format. Next time, just use Finder. Another thing no one ever talks about is the spacers in your dock. This is a pretty cool way to group your applications, but the problem is Apple hasn't exactly built this into macOS. The good news is that you can easily add these with a simple command that you copy into Terminal. I have a video that walks you through the process, so if you're interested, look for the link in the description of this video. Or how about stacks? If you're one of those people who keep piling up documents on their desktop, this is something you might want to try out. Stacks has been a part of macOS for a long time now, and it's exactly the kind of feature that's small and powerful, but at the same time so simple it doesn't get much attention. And to be fair, it's hidden behind this context menu when right-clicking an empty space on your desktop. Anyways, I think it's pretty rad. It helps keep things clean and still allows you to access everything that's stored on that messy desktop of yours. Five out of five, highly recommend. If you don't have a custom message on your lock screen, it's time to set up one. This can be anything from contact information in case your laptop gets lost, or a snarky little message like mine, or maybe you should throw some motivational there. How about that? Settings, lock screen, and show message when locked is how you set this up. Another feature that never gets enough credit is the ability to sign documents with your fingers. You need to sign a PDF, you open the markup tools, and use the signature feature. You can then use your trackpad to create a signature, which will be saved for all the future PDF documents that you need to sign. If you don't have a trackpad, you can sign a piece of paper, show that to the webcam of your Mac, and it'll use that picture to create a signature for you. Good stuff, huh? macOS is packed with handy little features that can sometimes be hidden and go unnoticed by most people. I feel like there's a lot of hype about apps and features that don't necessarily do much, and some of the most powerful stuff barely gets mentioned. If you're into this kind of stuff, subscribe to my channel, and I can guarantee you'll learn more of these as I post new videos.